Hey guys, today I thought I'd do an inspired look by Nicki Minaj and her song Super Bass. I'll be using different products, Barry M, Royal, um, Urban Decay, really all those sort of things. And as you see, I've already primed my eyes, so, you know, you don't have to prime your eyes, but I would recommend that you, you do prime your eyes, because if you don't, it will... Your eyeshadows will crease and not last as long as if you, like, if you did put it on. So that's why I'm using it. Now, firstly, we are going to get... Now, you can use eyeshadow, but I'm going to use Barry M Dazzle Dust, which is, like, kind of bright yellow, which is actually needed for this look. And my eyeshadows that I've got, see if you can see there, is not anywhere near yellow. And I have got a palette coming that has got yellow in it, but sadly it's taken longer than expected to arrive. So I just thought, instead of making you wait, I thought I would use my Dazzle Dust. Now I'm going to use, or take, sorry, is my shader brush, my Royal Jet Set shader brush, if you can see there. And you can get it from any cosmetic stores even art shops as well which is really really good so, and I found out I didn't know you could but until I went in last year you can find it so what I'm going to do so actually I'll take my smaller one so there's my smaller shader brush and just dip a little bit in there and as you see it's really like bright sunshine yellow which is even good for like summertime and what we're going to do is put it all over the lid now what I recommend you do guys if you do use this is to have like a little towel or tissue so that's what I'm going to do because it does go everywhere and like me it's just gone all over my laptop so what I'm going to do is just get a little tissue and pop it like open it up and put it on my laptop and then what would be best to do is shake off the excess dust before you use it I'm going to put the pigment on the tissue so if it does drop which I think it will it will go on there and I'm going to put a bit more on because this look is really bright yellow I'm going to just go in right near the brow line and as you see that's basically what you know stop the start of the look and I'm going to add just a tiny bit more yellow tiny bit more and you can get these dazzle dust from the Barry M website but I find they're cheaper from Amazon And what we're going to do is we're going to get the um, bigger brush and just blend it in like that. Just tap, and then as you find, it is blending the colour in. So that's one eye done. And while that's drying, I'll go and do the other eye. I've never used these before, but these are exactly as they say in the description. They are just amazing. Now don't worry if it looks a bit all wrong, because you can easily go back in with the brush and blend it in. After, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to go in as I did before with my bigger brush. And just basically blend and blend. Now I'm going to put a tad more on. And even though I've used quite a lot of this, it actually looks like I haven't used any. So these do really last quite a long time. 
and you can use these for lip glosses, nail varnishes, really anything. So that's that bit done. So I'm going to pop my lid back on before it drops and goes everywhere. And then what I'm going to do, just wipe, oops, wipe off my uh, brushes. And uh, now what we're going to do now is we're going to put the eyeliner on now which is on top of the end of the lid and this is my Barry M wink eye, um, eyeliner pen which is absolutely you know it looks like a pen really and it's really the, the nicest colour you could get and we're just going to go from the edge of the eye I'm round to the edge. If you can see there, that one's basically done, if you can see. Um, it's good if you, if you haven't got a steady hand because the liquid eyeliner goes everywhere and it goes all over the eye and it really smudges but with this I just used it and it really is amazing like you can you know I haven't got a very steady hand and the liquid eyeliner would go everywhere and this doesn't you know you can even go back to it if you feel like your hands a bit wobbly don't worry just stop and go back where you were before <sighs> it really is just the best product really you couldn't really ask for a better Barry M product so there you go there is the eyeshadow and eyeliner now on this look she's also wearing kind of pinkish blusher so I'm gonna get some candy floss and just it'd actually be better if I took the plastic thing off first and then just pop some in there not a lot just basically a little bit and then pop it right in the middle of your cheekbone and just do that until it contours the cheeks and then just go from there and sweep round Now you don't have to use this candy floss one, you can use really any blush you have, but the reason I'm using this one is because that is the look that she's wearing. Now to actually contour it so it goes in, I'm going to just get a blush brush and just brush it in. And now what I'm going to do now is take my chit chat power lash bra lash building mascara sorry got my voice muddled up then guys and um just basically um <laughs> now because she's got long eyelashes and I can't seem to find my fake ones I'm just sweeping the brush so it looks kind of out and then do the same with this or you can use as much or as little as you like
Now for the lips, in this look, she's got very bright pink lips. Now I'm using my Chit Chat lipstick, which is kind of a pinkish look, but to make it more of the colour, I'm going to add a, a pink lip gloss on top. But before I do, I'm going to just use quite a lot of this lipstick and see if the colour will work for the look. And I may not have to use any lip gloss because I think the colour is getting the colour I need it to. Yeah, if I don't need to use any... Um, Things so I'm going to do is to take the tissue I used before and just purse my lips. And um, that's basically it, guys. That is the Nicki Minaj super base look. Um, so that's really it, guys. And I hope you liked it. And if there's any inspired looks you want me to do, I would be more than happy to do them for you. Beth, you guys. Oh, before I go, I would like to just say a big hello to my new Sebi. Kate, which is, I may have pronounced this wrong because I'm sorry if I do, is Silicon Bunny and she's amazing. Please check her channel, she's awesome, she's really good at doing videos. Look at her nail ones, they're really good. Um, so that's what I've got to say, guys, and I will see you maybe later on, maybe soon, but if I don't, I will definitely be on sometime when I can. Okay, bye guys!